most of my techniques involve kind of manipulation of the body given that the person is able and doesn't have any previous injuries or limited range of motion um, and can have movements either above the head, uh, sometimes rotations of the knee. In this case, we're doing the left shoulder. And a lot of active release therapy comes in moving uh, a limb or pinning a limb and having the muscle work itself. It's great for joints. Gets a lot of um, circulation, uh, much needed areas, and it kind of works outward from there. Uh, thai massage does a similar thing. It's a little less strenuous on the body, or for me at least. But it's about stretching muscles near their attachment sites. So for the shoulder here, we have the pectoral attachments, pec minor and major. It's good to pinch up, moderate pressure, and have the movement be the extra stretch needed. as a small portion of active release therapy. Kind of all in the name right there. Many aspects of the shoulder. You can get a bit of the lats and the teres group from the armpit. As well as But the idea is similar to a pin and stretch, but a bit more active. Or a bit more motion involved than just a similar, than just the same one or two motions. There's also the sports aspect of it. it goes for the long stretch. Also get deep into that shoulder. You got the latissimus as well in the back and along the side. As well as compressions to the pecs. Good active release technique for the deltoid is to find the groove in between where the deltoid ends and just follow it along with a little inward and outward rotation just so once again that muscle activates itself. And a lot easier said than done but this is supposed to be done passively. So these are some of the small things we can help you with here uh, at Brilliant Massage and Skin. You can, we have, we provide memberships and we provide individual massages. We have a good crew of therapists, massage therapists here to help you get back on track. Uh, you can sign up for a massage uh, through the link below.